In this video, I'm going to discuss causation. Causation is one of the elements of, of a negligence cause of action. The plaintiff must prove that his or her injury is linked to the defendant's conduct. A defendant will not be liable to the plaintiff if the defendant was not the cause of the plaintiff's injury, even if the conduct was extremely negligent. Make sense? It's a little cloudy, but causation can be broken down into two categories, actual cause and proximate cause. Actual cause is sometimes referred to as cause in fact. The plaintiff must prove that the plaintiff's harm was actually caused by the defendant. Often courts use the what they call the but-for test to determine if the defendant's conduct was the actual cause of the plaintiff's injury. The test asks if the plaintiff's harm would not have occurred in the absence of the defendant's conduct. Let's look at some examples to help clear this up, um, keeping in mind the but-for test. First, a defendant uh, runs a red light would not be the actual cause of a car accident that occurred maybe several blocks away. Next, um, say Bart goes to a party and has too much to drink. He decides to drive home, loses control of his car, and, and hits Susie's car. Bart would be the actual causes of, cause of Susie's injury because Susie would not have been injured but for Bart's negligence. That makes sense, right? Now let's talk about proximate cause. When determining proximate cause, courts consider whether the plaintiff's injury was foreseeable. That's a big legal world, word. <laughs> um, and it's foreseeable to the plaintiff. Judges and juries often have to make a policy judgment about the, the scope of liability when it uh, when it comes to considering proximate cause. For example, if a defendant runs a red light, it is foreseeable that the defendant could cause a car accident. However, suppose that the defendant runs a red light and hits a car that was carrying fireworks and then the fireworks explode and launch into the air and they land on Bob's house and Bob's house burns down. Well, Bob's harm may not have been foreseeable to the driver that ran the red light. Uh, causation is one of the trickiest elements in a negligence case. Uh, we often have difficulty proving it and the defense fight us on it more times than not. Uh, if you've been injured in a car accident, any type of accident, you need to speak to a experienced personal injury lawyer and make sure that they're able to you know, dot the I's and cross the T's for all your causation needs. If you are interested in some more legal terms, check out our blog uh, or watch some more of these videos. Thanks.